Hi guys, in today's video we're going to talk about snacking and why snacking all day long or grazing is really not a good idea. So when I was a kid, I used to eat three square meals a day and I used to be outside playing all day long, running around, riding a bicycle or being at school, studying all day long and I honestly had no time to think about being hungry. And so I ate two or three meals every day and I was very, very healthy, very slim and full of energy. And then as I was growing up, as I reached my teenage years and I was old enough to get my own food, I started snacking non-stop. And then my whole family started snacking and our health really started suffering. And I also lost my really fit and muscular shape. And then I just continued my snacking habit throughout the rest of my life. And then when I met my husband and I went to visit him in Italy before he moved to England to be with me and I got my first major culture shock because whenever I went there I was starving between breakfast to lunch and then from lunch to dinner because they didn't eat any snacks at all. There was nothing in between meals and I was starving so much and every time after three or four days of snacking, of starving, I was just dragging my husband to the supermarket to buy some cookies because I was dying between meals. But that's really the reason why traditionally Italians were always very fit and they live long. But unfortunately, in the last 10 years or so, I've noticed that even Italians have been changing so much because I see more and more Italians with pot bellies. And I suspect that it's because the younger generation is also snacking like the rest of the world and snacking all day long is really not a healthy thing to do and in this video I'm just going to explain to you why. So just stay with me. So snacking all day long is really about the loss of ability to burn fat for energy and as our society started eating more and more processed foods and less and less properly prepared homemade foods our ability to burn fat disappeared and we started relying more and more on burning sugar for our energy. The problem with energy from sugar is that it doesn't last and so we need to eat more and more often. And that's how the phenomenon of grazing was born. And grazing is basically eating all day long, every hour too. And if you look around today in parks or in supermarkets at young families with small children, it's terrifying because all they do is continuously ask their children if they're hungry like literally every hour are you hungry are you hungry would you like a snack and then they feed them all kinds of sweets and chips and juices just to keep the kids full of energy which is scary if you ask me so the first reason why grazing all day long is not good is because if you graze all day long it's going to be impossible to burn fat and that's because if you eat every two three hours your body will use the energy from that food that you've just eaten rather than burn the energy from your fat stores so if you want to lose a bit of excess fat if you snack all day long forget about it because your body won't even have any chance to get to all that stored fat all it will do will be burn the food and you will basically condition your body to be fed every two to three hours, which is like slaving. Imagine if you're traveling or if you're working really hard and you have no chance to eat for a few hours and you're going to lose your concentration and your energy levels and you're going to be really grumpy just because you didn't get food on time. If you have two or three meals, square meals a day and don't snack between meals, you will gradually retrain your body to burn fat again and not sugar. If you compare fat burning to sugar or carb burning, fat burning has so many benefits because it's more steady energy, it keeps your moods more stable, it keeps your energy more stable, it reduces anxiety, it helps you focus, it helps you lose weight of course because or lose fat because you burn through those fat stores much more easily while the energy from carbs or from sugar it gives you an amazing burst of energy which is then usually followed by a massive drop in energy. Now let's talk about that wonderful fast that we are supposed to have every night between dinner and the next morning. So if you eat dinner reasonably early, let's say between 6 and 7, and then don't eat anything until 8 o'clock, which is your breakfast, you're going to have around 13 hours of fasting, which is so good for your body because your digestive tract is empty, so it can cleanse itself, rebuild itself, and rest which is exactly what you need if you want healthy skin healthy energy levels healthy thyroid good fertility and so on and so forth breakfast is called breakfast you know like breakfast 
because you break the fast in the morning. But if you eat right before bed, let's say at midnight, and then you eat as soon as you wake up at six or seven o'clock in the morning, that's not fasting. You don't give your body enough time to rebuild itself. Fasting overnight like that means that you're going to have much more stable blood sugars, much more stable mood, and just better health overall like all the traditional cultures have enjoyed for thousands of years because they've always been fasting overnight for 13 to 14 hours forever. Now let's talk about healthy snacks. Is it okay to eat healthy snacks like nuts or carrots? Well, not really because even a healthy snack like a carrot still means that you won't be burning your fat stores, you'll be burning the energy from the carrot instead. And I have tried it on myself many, many times and whenever I stick to eating three meals without snacks, yes, it's challenging for the first two or three days, but once you get into the habit, you start feeling phenomenal energy. If you eat a really large and filling and balanced lunch, you'll find that you won't have that really bad energy crash, crash between 3 and 5 p.m., which usually causes cravings for a sweet snack. And I find from my own experience and from my family's experience and from my friends, when you have those cravings, between lunch and dinner is because you didn't eat enough for lunch. For example, let's say you ate a light salad, of course you're going to be hungry and craving something after a few hours, but if you ate a really balanced and strong lunch, you won't even think about food until dinner time. Another thing that I find really works for me is that I need to make sure that I eat dinner on time between 6 or 7, between 6 and 7 p.m. because if I don't, if I arrive to 6 or 7 p.m. and I still haven't had my dinner, I'll start snacking like crazy because that's the natural time when my body prefers to have dinner and if the dinner is not there and my hunger is really strong, I will just eat everything and then I'll also eat dinner on top and that's the best way to gain some extra weight. Another reason why you might be wanting to snack between meals is because you didn't eat enough of certain micronutrients. So perhaps you ate some kind of protein and then a salad but you had no kind of carbs or maybe you ate a light salad with a lot of vegetables or fruit but no protein and if your body lacks that particular macronutrient you're going to feel hungry but if you combine all three macronutrients in a meal you'll find that you'll keep going strong for many many hours the last reason why not snacking between meals is so much healthier for you and especially if you have acne or hormone hormone troubles not snacking is going to be amazing for you for one reason and that's because not snacking between meals gives your body enough time to stabilize insulin levels. If you eat between meals, your insulin keeps being high, but if you give enough time, let's say five or six hours between meals and then this long break during the nights, even if your meals were really high in, in carbs and sugars, your body will still find the balance quite easily because it will have enough time to reset the insulin levels. So if, especially if you have blood sugar troubles, definitely try to not snack between meals and you'll find that it's going to make a huge difference. I don't know if you remember, but I used to have problems with fasting blood sugars and jumps, random jumps after meals with higher carbs. But since I reduced my snacking, I have had perfect blood sugar and it really works. A study came out in 2002 claiming that grazing throughout the day increases the risk for diabetes too, heart disease and stroke. So that's another reason to not graze all day long. We are not made to be grazing throughout the day. We are meant to have a clear routine and eat three meals at the same time every day and give our bodies enough time to rest between meals. And if you try that, you'll find that your health will increase dramatically and you'll get the body of your dreams so much easier. So that's all I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope that you found this helpful and if you did, I would really love it if you gave me a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.